Assalamualaikum Zangpo. Welcome to Bhutan e-learning project. I am Tashi Choden and this is an English language lesson for classes PPT3, Key Stage 1. So today uh, we are going to discuss on letter writing. And uh, in this lesson, uh, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to tell the purpose of writing letter, then list down the parts of letter, then you have to write a personal letter Can you see something on the boat? What is that? Have you ever seen that before? This is an envelope. This is an envelope. What is this? Did you see this before? This one is a stamp. Now let us see what are the things that you will need in order to send your letter. First one, you need an envelope. Then can you see at the right hand corner of the envelope? What is that? A stamp. Then comes the receiver's address. Can you see it is written on the envelope on the cover? That is the receiver's address. Now who is the receiver? Receiver are the one or the person who will be getting your letter. Now, let us see what is a letter now? What is a letter? Okay, letter is a written message passed from one person to another person through a medium. Now, you know what is a letter, right? A letter is a written message passed from one person to another person through a medium. Now, let us see why do you need to write letter? Do you know why you need to write a letter? First, if you want to inquire, if you want to know something, then you have to write the letter. Then, when you want to apologize, do you say sorry to your friends? When you make mistake, you say sorry to your friends, right? And then, if you want to apologize it, then you write a letter there again. Then when you want to invite your friend, now when your birthday comes, do you invite your friends to your place? Yes, you do it. And when you do it, you can write a letter and invite them for your birthday party. Then to pass an information, when you want to give the information, you write a letter. And when you want to make a request. Now, let us say an example. If you, when you are sick during your school time, what do you do? Do not you write a letter to your class teacher? Yes, you do it, right? You do it. Why do you write it? You are writing a letter to your class teacher just to inform him or her that you will not be able to attend the regular classes and your class teacher can excuse you from attending it, right? Okay, did you get everything I said? Now, let us look at the types of letter. Remember children, there are two types of letter, formal letter, then an informal letter. Now, you have to know what is a formal letter. What is a formal letter? Okay, formal letter is also known as official letter. It is known as official letter because we are using for the official purpose here. Okay, when you write a leave letter to your class teacher, it is an official letter. You are, you are a student and your teacher is the one who is receiving it. So, it becomes an official letter letter. Now, what is an informal letter? Informal letter is a personal letter. It can be also called as a friendly letter. Now, when you write a letter to your friend, you write whatever comes to your mind, right? You can tell your feelings, you can share whatever you want to share to your friend. There is no restriction. You can be very casual there. So, this one is an informal 
letter. Now children, today what we are going to do is we will look more into the personal letter. We will look into the personal letter. Now when you look into the personal letter, we have to know the different parts of a personal letter. Now remember children, when you write a letter, there are five parts of letter. There are five parts of letter. On the top, you will find the heading. You will find the heading of a letter. And the heading of a letter includes the sender's address and the date. Now, who is the sender here? It is the one who is writing it, right? If you are writing a letter to someone, then you are the sender there. So, there should be your address. And then just below the address, there should be a date. Now, look at the example there. See, can you see Taju Primary School, Paro? Yes, and this is an address. Now, just below the address, you will see March 15, 2020. And this one is a date. Now, next comes the salutation. Right after the heading comes the salutation. Children, salutation is also known as greeting. It's a greeting. Do you greet your friends when you meet them in the morning? You say, hello, karma, right? Sometimes you say, good morning, sir. It is a greeting here. Remember, in the greeting, when you write the greeting, you have to end it with the comma. Just look at the example. See, dear mother, can you see it is followed by comma? Yes, it is followed by comma. Dear Dichen, now dear Dichen and it is followed by comma again. Next, dear uncle, then comma. Remember students, remember here, now when you write the salutation, you use the pronoun or the noun which is appropriate. Okay? For an example, if you want to write a letter to, let's say, your father, can you write, dear sister? No, you can't write it because you are not addressing to the right person. So, remember to keep that in your mind. Are you getting me, students? Are you with me? Okay, now next go to, let's go to the body part. Now, the body of the letter is very important here. Now, here what we do is, we write the information there. Okay, we write the information. You are going to write the message that you are going to convey. Did you get me? And in the body, there is an introduction. And there has to be the main, main body, the main message, then the conclusion. A conclusion is also, you can see it like the indicating or the signaling of the end of your letter. From here, you are indicating the reader that you are going to end your letter. Okay. Now comes in the fourth, there comes the closing. The closing is also known as the subscription, the ending of the letter. Okay, And it can be in a very simple or just in a one line, in a single line. Then just below the closing, there is the, you know what is there? There is a signature and signature does not only mean the sign. You can write your name there. Did you get me? You can write your name there. Let us say an example, your faithfully comma. It has to be followed by the comma. The, then comes the signature, right? Here you have to write your name. Very good. You have to write your name. See? Can you see it? Okay. Now children, when you write a letter, you should know how to open the letter, right? How to begin with the letter. Now, let us look at some of the examples of how to open the letter and then how you are going to 
to the ending of the letter and then wrap up or close your letter. Now let us see the opening. Now when you are opening a letter, you can write like how are you doing, right? Sometimes you can write thank you for your letter. You can say thank you for your letter if only you have received, your, received the letter, then you have to thank the person who has sent you. Then you can write I was glad to receive your letter. I am uh, writing this letter to tell you about my new school. These are how you can open the letter, just begin the writing. Then indicating the end. When you have started to write, you have to end the letter, right? You have to end the letter. Now there should be something which will indicate that you are going to end your letter there. See, I will end my letter here. Looking forward to hear from you. Give my warm regards, give my regards. Now the closing. Now, how you close the letter? When you close the letter, you can write your faithfully. Sometimes, if you are a student, you can write your student. Okay, if you are writing to your teacher. When you want to become very casual, you can write with love. Sometimes, you can use best wishes. These are just an example. Okay, now everyone. Let us look at two forms of personal letter. Personal letter, you know what is a personal letter right now? What is a personal letter again? It is a friendly letter. Now these personal letter can be written in two forms. Okay, it can be written in two forms. First, the block form and indented form. Now let us look at how the indented form of letter is written. See, can you see the address? Where is the address written here? The address is written on the, where? It is written on the right hand corner of the page. And then the address is followed by the date. Now, can you see the address as a sender's address? You have to write your address, okay? Then it is followed by a date. Now, can you see I have circle, circled there? Can you see it? What is that? It is a comma, and you have used comma to separate year from the month and the date, okay? Now, now, you have to write the greeting. See, the greeting. Is the greeting written on the same line at the right hand corner? No, it is written here at the left margin, at the left margin, right? Dear Hindu, it is a greeting and greeting is also known as very good. Salutation. It is known as salutation. Remember children, when you are greeting, you have to put comma there. Okay? Then you write the body. Remember when I said when uh, you are writing body, you have to first open your letter. Let us see how is the letter being opened here. Okay? Okay. I am writing this letter to tell you how much I am enjoying reading the book The Peace Ring by Rosemary Hayes that you have sent me. Now this is the opening of the letter. Okay? The most in interesting part of the book was when Ben and Tracy walked underground through the huge and twisted roots around them with the help of the light from the peace ring. Here this one is the message that is being conferred to Hindu. Now let us see the next paragraph. Now can you see there when you are writing the next paragraph, can you see 
the uh, paragraph is being indented, it is being pushed in. Now, when you write the indented letter, the next para has to be indented, it has to be pushed in. Okay? I will write more next time when I finish reading the story. Give my regards to your friend. Now, what does it say when it says give my regards to your friend? That shows that you are going to end your letter here. Okay? Then let us go there. Can you see your friend? It is a closing, right? It is a closing. Now, your friend is being followed by the comma there. Did you get me? It is followed by the comma. Then comes the signature. Now, what is the signature? Signature is just your name. Okay? Now, look at the letter very carefully now. Can you see in the salutation, it is written dear Lindup. I have capitalized Lindup there, right? L is capital letter. Now, remember, I have capitalized there because it is the proper noun. You know what is a proper noun, right? If you write dear friend, are you going to uh, use capital letter or not? Yes, you are going to use capital letter there. Okay? Did you get me now? Okay. Now, what we are going to do is, we are going to look at the block form of a letter. I said in the beginning, right? There are two forms of letter, the indented and the block. Now, let us look at the block form of the letter. Okay, children. Now, in the block form of a letter also, there should be the address. There should be the address. Okay. The address given there is Taju Primary School, Paro. Now, can you go back and just remember, recollect where we have written the address in the indented form? Is it written at the same, same corner? No, it is not. Right? In the indented form, we have written the address on the right hand side of the page. Now, in the block form, we are writing here on the left hand side of the page and then it has to be followed by the date. It has to be followed by the date. You can keep a space, keep one space between the address and the date. Okay? Okay. Then comes dear Dicky. Now, dear Dicky is a salutation here and remember to put the comma there. Okay? Then comes the opening of the letter. Let us see how the letter is being opened here. It was nice to know that you have already started reading the book. I am sure you will enjoy the book. Let me know whether you enjoyed reading fiction stories. Now, let us look at the body of the letter. A friend of mine from Thimbu has written to me last week. She has read the poem, The Moon Bears Dance. And her class is working hard on the poem to role play the poem during their school literary week. She has invited me to come. Are you interested, Dicky? Then let us go to the closing. Let us see how it is being closed. I will write you about this in my next letter. My regards to Dicky, Dema, and Lucky, your friend. Now, can you see there? There is a comma again. There is a comma. Your friend, comma. That what? Then what comes next? Yes, very good. Next, there is a signature, and the signature is your name. Now, did you get me, students? Did you get what is a block form? It's an indented form. I hope every one of you are following with me. Yes, are you following with me? Very good. Thumbs up for every one of you. Okay. Now, look at this. Let us see. Okay. Can you see two forms of letters given there? Yes. Indented form and the block form. Look carefully. 
do they look same? Are they written in the same way? Are they written in the same way? No, it is not written in the same way. It has got different way, right? It is written in a different way. Now, just look at the address. Simply just look at the address. Now, in the block form, it is written on the left hand side, right? On the left margin. Whereas, in the indented form, it is written on the right hand corner. It is written on the right hand corner. But in both the letters, there are address given. Okay? Then you will see the salutation. Salutation, it is same. Okay? It, both the salutations are written in the left hand side. Now, just look at the paragraph when you introduce the letter. Are they same? Are they written in the same style? Yes, are they written in the same style? No. Just look at the indented form. The first introduction it is being indented, okay. Whereas in the block form, it is on the same margin. See, can you see that it is very straight? Uh, look at the address, the salutation, and the introduction. It's in the same line. Did you get me? Then let's go to the subscription there. Is the subscription written in the same style? Yes? No, it is not written in the same style, children. Here in the block form, it is here at the left hand, in the left side, left margin, whereas in the indented form, it is on the right hand corner, right? It is on the right hand corner. Okay, now let us quickly look at the differences that we have found out together. In the block form, the entire text is written at the left margin. Okay. Indented form, in the indented form, you will see that the address of the sender, date, the closing word, and the name of the sender are being written on the right hand side of the page. Are you with me? Okay, let's see. And when you start with a new paragraph, it is again being indented. Did you get me, everyone? Are you with me now? Hope everyone is enjoying. Okay, since we have discussed, now I will give you, or I will leave you with some activities. Okay, this one is activity one. Can you see here on the left hand side? We have number one, greeting, two, the heading, three, the introduction, four, main body, five, we have conclusion, six, there is subscription given. Now, let us look at the right hand side. We have write best wishes and your friend. B, how are you doing? C, dear father. D, give my regards to your friend. E, includes address and date. F, write the message you want to convey. Now, children, everyone, look at the screen carefully. Read and match the following. Okay, think time, you can think. Uh, now, let us look at the answers. answers. Greeting. Greeting matches with dear father. Did you get it right? If you have got it right, very good. Then the heading. Heading includes address and date. Did you get it right? Okay. Now, introduction is how are you doing? Main body. Write the message you want to convey. Conclusion. Give my regards to your friends. Subscription. Write best wishes and your name. Everyone, did you get it right? If you have got it right, superb. Well done, everyone. Now, let us uh, look at activity 2. I will give you activity 2. Since we have looked into the parts of a letter, now what you need to do is you write a letter to your friend 
telling him or her about your favorite pet. You may use any form to write your letter. Okay. Now, that is the activity. I have given you two activities, right? First one, matching. Second one, I have given you to write a letter. Please do it. Okay, now, let us quickly recapitulate what we have learned in this lesson. First, we came to know what the letter is, right? Just recollect it, what is a letter? Then, we have looked into two types of letters, right? The formal letter and then informal letter. Formal letter is also called as official letter, very good. Then, informal letter is also known as personal letter or, or the friendly letter, very good. Then, we looked into two forms or two styles of personal letter writing, right? Block form and then indented form. Then, we looked into the differences. How are they different, right? Finally, I give you an activity. Please, do your activity. Always keep in touch with your books. Happy writing. Thank you so much for attending this lesson. Thank you.